Yo, what's up guys? We got Pokeyam here with a video on how to use Mega Houndoom, some Mega Houndoom movesets slash tips. Uh, I've been uh, creating a few sets here and I want to talk a little bit about Houndoom since it is recently released in Pokemon Sun and Moon, at least on Showdown for right now and it should be by the time this video goes up, hopefully on uh, Wi-Fi as well. But um, Houndoom really did benefit from the new ways that Megas evolved this generation, how they get their auto speed boost. So it's actually really cool because Houndoom now goes from a Pokemon with 317 speed to a Pokemon that speed ties with Azelf, that's faster than Latias, that's faster than Gengar. And Houndoom actually being a Pokemon that I feel will be a very, very, very big threat in the UU tier, that's actually really important considering Latias and Gengar are in that tier. Um, also being able to outspeed Keldeo, Terrakion, and Cobalion. Now, currently on Showdown, Houndoom's only allowed an OU, but again, I feel like it's a Pokemon that will drop down to the UU tier and it will definitely shine in there. So, these movesets are mainly talking about UU. Uh, however, you could try and bring it up to OU, and I probably will do that the same later on today, as you guys will see. But, uh, the first set we have is the Nasty Plot set. Houndoom upon Mega Evolution has 140 base special attack. It is ridiculously strong at 379 speed. You're always going to want to go a plus speed nature on Houndoom. Again, uh, being... I'm just going to put it for UU here, that way I can easily sc uh, scroll down to UU. But being a Pokemon that will be in the UU tier, allows it to speed tie with Azelf. Uh, allows it to outspeed, like I said, Cobalion. Um, outspeeding... Um, Pokemon like Hydreigon, Pokemon like Haxorus, just one Mega Evolution, of course the big ones being Latias and um, the legendary horses, or whatever you want to call them. <laughs> Terrakion Pony, I know how does the Pony, uh, Cobalion, or Cobalion rather, and Terrakion. So that's auto speed boost is really, really important for this mod. Also being able to uh, speed tie with Zygarde 10%, uh, having base 115 speed. Especially because you can hit it with a really, really strong Dark Pulse. But the first set we have is the Nasty Plot set, which you can really abuse now a lot better than it could before, uh, just because of that auto speed. Now, you do want to do a Flash Fire on this Pokemon prior to Mega Evolution, because this allows you to come in on Pokemon such as Chandelure, uh, such as Arcanine, uh, watch out for close combat, but it allows you to come in on Chandelure's um, Fire moves, and you already naturally resist its Ghost moves. Uh, so that's a pretty big one. Um, as well as being able to come in on other Houndooms prior to Mega Evolution. Now, uh, the Nasty Plot set, it's really just dual stabs, which is Fire Blast and Dark Pulse. You can use Flamethrower, but Fire Blast just hits so incredibly strong. Dark Pulse is very important. Again, I mentioned Pokemon like Latias in the tier. Now, the last move is really up to you. HP Grass is really nice because it hits Keldeo, as you can see right here by this calc, for a guaranteed 2 hit KO after Stealth Rock damage, which is really big considering Keldeo does resist the Fire Blast and the Dark Pulse, as you guys can see. Though Fire Blast, even upon resisting it, doesn't appreciate it. It's still uh, a guaranteed 3 KO after Stealth Rock. So, But HP Grass is a guaranteed 2 KO. HP Grass allows you to also hit Swampert for 4 times effective damage um, and Crawdon for super effective damage while also hitting Primarina. Now, I do have Sludge Bomb on there specifically for Primarina. As you guys can see right here, Sludge Bomb at plus two, Oko's max HP Primarina. And Choice Specs Primarina is a giant threat in the UU tier. So that's why Sludge Bomb was worth a uh, mention. But HP Grass, for the most part, hits the more more Pokemon. Terrakion, Keldeo, Crawdon, Swampert. Um, of course, Swampert doesn't appreciate plus two Dark Pulse, but plus two HP Grass knocks out Swampert. So uh, it's definitely a little bit better. Um, I don't think any of this is really up to change besides maybe making Fire Blast Flamethrower if you don't want to miss, but just the raw power of Fire Blast from this Mon is crazy. Also, this Mon does have uh, Solar Power when Mega Evolving, uh, which is why the next set we do have is a Son Abuser. Now, again, this set is a lot better this generation just because you can uh, get your auto speed boost. So you actually force out Pokemon like Latias, who can't just spam Psy Shock. Um, you also force out Gengar. Um, and you can just set up the sunny day and Fire Blast becomes a nuke in the sun. We'll show you this calc right here versus Tentacruel, 50 to 59%. Solar Beam and Dark Pulse also pretty much 2 a KOing uh, Tentacruel, guaranteed after Stealth Rock if you put Stealth Rock up. Guaranteed 2 a KO after Stealth Rock. Just to show you a Mon that has good Spadef. Of course, uh, it is not specially defensive, but typically they're more so physically defensive than specially defensive anyway. Um, but it just becomes a, a giant threat. Uh, being able to really nuke anything 
Uh, Solar Beam is really nice, especially with the Sun, since you don't have to wait that turn to charge, and that KOs Keldeo, Terrakion, KOs Swampert, KOs Crawdon. Also getting up the Sun meaning you don't have to uh, fear the Aqua Jet. That is something I do want to note though on this set, just because you have H HP Grass to actually knock out Crawdon uh, at plus two and do a ton to it prior to a plus two anyway, uh, doesn't mean you should always go for it because it can smack you with an Aqua Jet. And if it's banded, it should be able to take you out. Um, though a lot of them are Hydro Vortex now, so Water and MZ. But the Sun Abuser, mainly again just to abuse that Sun, set up the Sun and sweep. You could also use Nasty Plot on a Sun team. I think that Houndoom itself kind of makes Sun a really interesting option in the UU tier. Um, though, uh, again, I kind of just like the Sunny Day, just set it up for yourself, and for the next four turns after Sun, you just blast people with Fire Blast, hit them with Solar Beams, and then you're boosted Dark Pulse because Solar Power uh, does give you uh, the equivalent of a Choice Specs in the Sun. So it just becomes a Choice Specs base 140 special attack Mon in the Sun. Now next up we do have Pursuit. I did mention Gengar and I did mention uh, Latias, as well as Hoopa being in the tier. Now Pursuit with 68 attack investment with a Hasty Nature, and now this one is going to go Hasty Nature. That's the best option because if you go Naive, you get minus special defense, which means that Gengar's uh, Shadow Ball does more, um, Hoopa's Shadow Ball does more. And while it's not that big of a difference after Rocks coming in, and if it is like Scarf Gengar, uh, with a Spadef Drop it can knock you out. Um, with Shadow Ball into, with Spadef Drop Shadow Ball into Shadow Ball, whereas if you're hasty, uh, more than likely not. Now, um, Pursuit with 68 attack investment, I'll show you the calc right here. Uh, it's a guaranteed to, uh, KO on Gengar if it does switch, so it guarantees the KO on Gengar again if it does switch. Um, which I really wanted to nab, you could just go zero attack investment as well, as you can see right here, with Stealth Rock up, uh, it does kill. Gengar always because it's pursuit is just double the damage right here so it's 45 times 2 which is 90 stealth rock brings Gengar to 87 percent anyway so you do KO so you could go zero attack investment um, but the attack investment is cool if you want to just guarantee get uh, KO on like scarf Gengar uh, which is very common in uh, the U tier um, it was like life orb Gengar and whatnot after it takes that one hit knock it out but dark pulse and fire blast are given uh, Dark Pulse, even with only 188 special attack investment, is still really nice for Lottie, Silent, Solid 2 Heal. Now, the last move is either up to you. Uh, because you do have a little bit of uh, attack investment, Sucker Punch is pretty cool for potentially a Scarf Gengar knocked into a uh, Sludge Wave. As you can actually see right here, Sludge Wave does 2 AKO Houndoom with ease, uh, 58 minimum. So, uh, if it's Last Mon Gengar and it is locked into Sludge Wave, Sucker Punch is, you know, always a good option there because you can just knock it out with the sucker punch uh, with your 68 attack investment uh, guaranteed. I'll actually just show you real quick. I should have actually had it in the calc, my bad, for that. I had my calcs prepared and I felt good because I wasn't messing up too much. But after Stealth Rock, you can knock it out. So you can actually even go a little bit more attack investment. It's only, yeah, 72 is better. 72 is better, excuse me. Uh, 72 attack investment is better than 68. I should have calc that already. But uh, 72 attack investment, what it does is, can I not subtract? What 72 attack investment ends up doing is uh, it makes it that you guarantee KO Gengar. Um, okay, this is messing up. But you guarantee KO Gengar with Sucker Punch after Stealth Rock. So 72 attack investment is definitely the better bet. And just 184 special attack, uh, just based on this calc. Uh, being able to knock out Gengar. Um, and I think Pursuit is actually pretty cool on Houndoom because not only Mons like Lottie will be switching out, but I did mention Hoopa, which is four times weak, and it is a giant threat. Be careful switching into Hoopa. Because Hoopa does sometimes run either All Out Pummeling or Gigavolt Havoc um, to hit Bisharp and knock it out upon switching. Um, as well as hitting Pokemon like Crawdon and hitting Bulky Waters. So be careful switching into that Mon. Uh, Pursuit is more so after you either sack the Mon or got like a, a U-turn out into something on one of those Mons coming in. You can then Pursuit and knock them out. But again, HP Grass is also another option because what HP Grass allows you to do is again hit Swampert, uh, hit Keldeo for not really a 2 kill This time with a spike up though, it will be a 2 kill on, uh, on Keldeo with the HP Grass. And again, being able to hit Crawdon. A few other options this Mon does have, and all of these can be put on, on a lot of sets. Um, will O Wisp is a pretty cool option because Houndoom uh, does force in Pokemon, like I would say like Mega Aerodactyl, like Hydreigon, like Crawdon. Um, Pokemon that can come in and either revenge kill it or uh, or threaten it with like a strong move like Hydreigon's uh, Draco Meteor. So Willowis is a pretty cool option. Um, Taunt 
Taunt is actually really nice because you can actually use it on the Nasty Plot set. If you want to use Taunt, I could definitely see it over this. Uh, being able to stop Pokemon like Clefable in the tier, Nasty Plotting out, they, they try and softball or Thunder Wave you, they can't because you taunted them. You could also run Super Fang if you want to use some sort of Stall Breaker set with Taunt, Super Fang, Dual Stabs. Um, that's actually really, really cool because if Keldeo comes in on a Spike and then you hit it with a Super Fang on top of that, your Fire Blast has a pretty good chance of knocking it out. Uh, after that, so that's why Super Fang is a really cool option. Uh, Crunch is another option, and you might be thinking, well, why not put it on the Pursuit Attack and just have like a max attack investment? With Houndoom's base 140 special attack, its Dark Pulse actually does uh, about the same, if not more, to a Latias. So I'll show you the calc right here. Um, it does about the same. This is max attack investment uh, Houndoom. Always going speed natures, by the way. Always boosting your speed. That's the big thing with Houndoom. And this is just zero HP Lottie. You do 73 to 87 with Crunch, and Dark Pulse does 72 to 86 with Crunch. So it's a cool option if you want to hit like Calm Mind Lottie a little bit harder, but either way, you're not knocking it out. Um, but I just want to show that calc. And then Destiny Bond is a cool option if um, you want to use it as like just a last-ditch last effort type of thing. Uh, being uh, going down to that uh, besides that I did mention flamethrower being an option over um, Flamethrower being an option over the uh, Fire blast if you don't want to miss and uh, outside of that. I mean it does have Like sludge bomb is cool because I, I mentioned it here for pre-marina, but also hitting opposing houndoom and whatnot uh, As well as clefable for accurate damage and knocking it out plus two if it's physically defensive but besides that, uh, I think these are the main things that Houndoom will be running. I guess you could run like Toxic if you want to hit something like Hydreigon when it comes in and wear it down more than Burn since Burn only does 6%. Toxic uh, does 6% at first but then becomes 12 and whatnot. Keeps going and keeps going. Uh, those are all options. But all in all, Houndoom will be a really cool addition to the U tier. I, really like it, I feel like it really does um, bring that option of Sun. Uh, being cool in the U tier. I'm not talking about like with a Drought Ninters or something, uh, but I'm talking about like just uh, uh, just a setup Sun, with, like pair with like Shift Tree or anything like that. You just go for like a, a, maybe like an Uxi or something with the Heat Rock uh, and setting up a Sunny Day and get your seven turns after that. And um, yeah, Houndoom is just a really cool option in that regard. But in any case, guys, I do hope you learned something. I can't wait to use this mod in the U tier, and for now, I'm gonna have to use it in the OU tier. But you know, in a couple months, I'll be able to use it in the U tier. Uh, of course, if you did learn something or you know you didn't enjoy, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, you can also check out uh, my shirt if you want. The seven clean years. Uh, this has been you know just in order uh, just to celebrate uh, seven years on YouTube. If you guys want to go ahead and check that out, I got a nice design. Seven clean years with the Latios or Latios, excuse me, um, crest slash silhouette right there. Though it's not black, so I don't know if it's really considered a silhouette, but yeah, it's available until June 5th, and if you guys want to check one out, you can. Uh, but besides that, I have nothing else to say, so I'll see you guys later today. Goodbye, friends.